In this video, I take you on a tour of Tui Skylar and share some tips on how to make the most of a river cruise on this ship. Tui River Cruises launched in 2021 with three river ships in its fleet. Tui Skylar is almost identical to its sister ships, apart from a slight difference in cabins. Tui Skylar has 77 cabins, compared to 79 on Tui Isla and Tui Maya. This is because Tui Skylar has more suites and therefore less passengers. At full capacity, Tui Skylar holds up to 151 passengers and 40 crew. It's 135 metres long and 11 metres wide, which allows it to fit through standard locks on the Danube where it's based. As you board Tui Skylar, you find yourself in the atrium on deck two. Here you'll find the reception desk and some seating. The atrium spans two decks and is where you'll get on and off the ship. Whenever you leave the ship, you hand your cabin card into reception and swap it for a shore card so they can identify which passengers are not on board. This is not foolproof as we discovered. I'd recommend watching episode two of our Tui Skylar vlogs to find out what actually happened. Back to the atrium and this is also where you'll find the cruise director's desk. There are also cabinets with items such as jewellery, handbags and guidebooks that you can purchase. At the end of each cruise there is a little sale so it might be worth holding off until the last day to buy things. There are also some cabins on this deck as well as the wellness area. I'd recommend avoiding these cabins as they are directly below the evening entertainment lounge. The wellness area can be booked free of charge at reception. You can book a 45 minute time slot and during this time only you and the person you're sharing the cabin with have exclusive access. In this area you can enjoy the use of a jacuzzi and relax in reclining chairs whilst looking out of the large porthole. There's a shower but the best feature of the wellness area has to be the sauna. Just imagine sailing along the Danube while sat in the sauna, gazing out at the view. Very special. Moving up to deck three and starting at the bow, you have an outside seating area. That's a peaceful spot to read or enjoy your morning coffee. This area is never busy, so it's ideal if you want to relax and enjoy the views. Behind this space is the observatory lounge, which is the main venue for entertainment. It's also the meeting point for excursions. There's enough seating here for all passengers to use this space, which is likely to be the case for the welcome meeting and gala night. There's a small stage come dance floor area at the front, and during the cruise we enjoyed local traditional folk dancing, quizzes, singing and a silent disco. You can order from the bar, but waiter service is also available. For the full menu of drinks with prices, I'd recommend taking a look at my complete guide to drinks on Tui River Cruises. You can find the link to this in the description. Next to the observatory is the upper atrium, and here is where you'll find some comfy seating and the 24 hour hot drink station. These drinks are complimentary and you can help yourself to tea, coffee, hot chocolate, cookies and macaroons throughout the day. If you'd prefer a specialty coffee, you should head to the club lounge, also on deck three, which has a proper barista style coffee machine. There's also a separate cocktail menu here, and I'd highly recommend the espresso martinis. Day or night, this lounge never gets busy. So for a quiet drink and a chat with friends, this is the ideal spot. The club lounge is right next door to the Vodastro main dining restaurant. Tui Skyler has two restaurants on board and they are both situated on deck three. The Vidastro dining room is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Breakfast can be ordered from a menu or a continental buffet, with the lunch and dinner menus changing daily throughout the cruise. Tables are arranged for two to eight people and you don't have to share a table if you don't wish to. Unlike other river cruises, there is no set time dining, so you can turn up whenever you like during the opening times, except on gala night when everyone is seated at 7pm. 
Beer, wine and soft drinks flow freely during lunch and dinner and I particularly enjoyed meals here whilst watching the scenery go by. The second restaurant on Tui Skyler is the Bistro. At the very aft, you can access this casual restaurant by a small set of stairs from the Vidastro restaurant. This restaurant is light and airy and is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. There's a hot buffet for breakfast, a cold buffet for lunch and in the evening it offers a specialty menu. On our cruise, there was Asian and Hungarian menus, but this must be booked in advance at reception. There is no extra charge for dining here for dinner, but reservations are essential. Simply book by 2pm the previous day. Finally, deck four is the top deck and the best place to sit and watch the world go by. At the very front is a great place to sit whilst cruising with unobstructed views. This area can be quite popular during scenic cruising, especially through the Iron Gates and the Vaco Valley. The good thing is that there are plenty of deck chairs here. The River Ships Bridge is located on this deck and it can move up and down, depending on the height of bridges. Controls in the yellow box on the side of the ship are used to navigate through locks and to offer the captain a better view. There's a circular light well that brings natural light into the atrium and that's what you can see on the floor. In the central section of the top deck, there are plenty of sun loungers that face outwards to take full advantage of the scenery on your river cruise. And I really liked this aspect. This section was never full or busy, so there's no need to worry about finding a place to relax. During the cruise, there are a few activities that take place here, including mini golf, fitness classes and Dutch shuffleboard. Thankfully, when the weather is particularly hot, there are parasols that can be put up to give some much needed shade. These can be dropped if the ship goes under low bridges. Tables and chairs are perfect for enjoying a drink or al fresco dining. Once a cruise, there's a barbecue and you can enjoy this up on the top deck. Finally, towards the aft of deck four, there is a covered area with tables and chairs and this is the designated smoking area. Behind that is the crew area. So there are the public areas on Tui Skyler. But what about some of the crew areas behind the scenes? I took a backstage ship tour as part of the little extras package, which gave me access to some of the areas on deck one that are usually out of bounds. So let's take a look. The ship's laundry is small but very organised. Here's where the linen and towels are cleaned and pressed, as well as any clothes you send via the laundry service. Despite being compact, the galley is spotless and it's incredible to see behind the scenes. This galley serves two restaurants, so I was really impressed with the quality of the food and the speed that the dishes came out during service. It was also a perfect opportunity to say thank you to those crew who work so hard, but we don't usually get the chance to see. If you'd like to take a tour behind the scenes on a Tui River Cruise, you can by booking the little extras package, which is £35 per cabin. If you want to see more of Tui Skylar, I'd recommend watching this video now or alternatively take a look at my tour of a French balcony suite.